Hello, kiddies. Welcome to Toby Sonics. Quick, make some noise for your professional noise making needs. And it's Easter Sunday, so a very happy Easter Sunday to each and every one of you. I do hope that you've kept your chocolate eggs at least two meters apart. We've been promising to do it for weeks. We've finally got round to it. We're going to do some production breakdown for my debut solo release, All These Things. We're going to be taking a look at the guitar bit crush riser effect. So let's get on with it. So let's start off with the raw loop and start putting these effects in. So we've got a little bit of dynamic EQ that's handling the occasional harsh frequency. We're taking quite a little bit off the top. That's just sitting it back to the mix and then we're just cleaning out the low. Then we've got some little altar boy. That's changing it quite a lot. We've got some pitch up, that's a format down, and we're also quantizing it. Let's go berserk. That's getting us some gain. So we've fuzzed it. We're also affecting tone. After the Berserk, we got ourselves some um, Joey Sturgis Pixelator. Let's drop it in. It's really not doing that much at this moment because we're going to use it for automating. We've got some Wave Submarine. PSP Hearse Rider for movement. Sound Toys Tremolator. That is changing it. Finally, another Pro-Q. We're taking those low frequencies out and we're dealing with some harsh frequencies. Okay, let's take a look at the auto. As you can see, there's an awful lot. So let's go through it, plug-in by plug-in. We're going to work from the second half of the chorus because that's when the automation really kicks in. This is the Pro-Q auto. We're cutting out the low frequencies. And then, as we really get into the effect, we start lifting up the effect, bringing it up into the mix by giving it more high frequencies. So next up, we've got Little Alter Boy, and we're going to be automating Drive and Format. And you can hear that that's, that's working with the EQ. We're lifting that Format up, we're lifting the frequency up, and then the Drive is giving it more aggression, more intensity, it's time to go berserk. We're automating some drive, some density, and also some blend. Next up, we have the Joey Sturgis Pixelator. We're going to be automating the sample divider and the bit depth. And you hear that's making a huge difference to the tone, collapsing it right in. Then we have a little bit of automation using Wave Submarine. And it's just pushing a little bit of weight for that end of the chorus. And finally, we have a pro Q. And you can see that we're doing a lot of auto here on thresholds. We're doing that to handle some of the harsh frequencies that are coming up. So this is purely functional. And whenever you're messing with crazy sounds, you're going to have to do this kind of thing to help things sit in the mix. And you notice right at the end there, it lets a load of of low frequency through. We also have some panning auto. You can see that for most of the track, the effect is panned hard left, hard right. We're gonna bring it in, tighten it right up. So this is what the effect sounds like in context. And then the effect builds for the end of the drop. So this is the effect by itself. Let's put the little Autoboy automation back in. And you can see that we're actually reducing the drive, which is helping to smooth it out. Next up, Waves Berserker. Let's put the auto back in, and we're going to be automating the drive and the density. 
Joey Sturgis Pixelator is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. So let's run it without the auto and have a listen. If you've seen the movie A Raise Ahead, that's going to be taking you right back right now. Let's drop it in. So much of that being done with this tiny little plugin, little box of tricks. And that's it. What I really like about this effect is the way that it carries through the chorus and into the drop. It tallies with the emotion at that moment that what we've got is this sense of rising trauma that then builds into this sort of explosion of trauma. Let's have a listen to the effect by itself one last time. And in the full production, it sounds like this. All these things I remember. All these things I That's the guitar bit Chris Riser effect from my debut solo release, All These Things. If you haven't listened to it already, please, please take a listen. There is a link floating around somewhere. That's Toby Sonics. Good night and good noise. And stay safe and stay healthy.